evolved over the years really because as we just started clearing litter and cleaning off graffiti uh, we started tending the gardens and planting a few things. Start small um, and really concentrate on making those areas nice. Helen was the inspiration really, saying should we go for it and, uh, and but why not, it gives you a standard to try and keep to. We have a, very, a busy calendar, bulb planting, we're starting the, the calendar. We have um, plant and seed swaps twice a year. Uh, we do twice a year uh, clean-ups. The gardening club meet once a month, um, the first Saturday of every month, uh, and that's key that once a month everybody gets together to do whatever needs to be done. It's a very busy calendar. Winter and summer, all weathers. Yeah. But there's something for everyone because we do so many different events because we're running the allotment so some people like doing um, growing vegetables, other people will like dealing with the meadow, people coming in just for that odd event. Village and Bloom came up with the idea that to, the council would agree to remove all the trees that were in there oh. and then the Village and Bloom volunteers plant vegetables vegetable project for the community or anyone in the community can help plant them and then when we have vegetables the community can enjoy them. One of the concerns we had was about watering wasn't it Caroline? So uh, Caroline organised weekly watering so there's uh, seven of us in the community that come here every day. To oh every day? Yeah every oh, day. Oh wow. So it's a real community initiative and everybody can pick the vegetables and fruits as they grind them. This, this group that um, and we're just tidying up the space behind you here as I understand it this group meets kind of once a month and uh, tidies spruces up public spaces Do you think the council should be doing this job or do you think local residents? I don't see that it has to be either or, I mean I think the council I'm sure they supply this stuff and they'll come and pick rubbish up and they, they will do all the big work, they'll plant trees and all that sort of stuff. I think there's there's also something nice about just local people getting together and, and polishing it up a bit and doing some of the smaller things. And Costa Rica nightshade and um, or widowmaker. Mm -hmm. He's got some recurved spines on the leaves, and they grab hold of you, and they're really vicious. Oh right! So, uh, but the flowers are absolutely magnificent. Since I started doing my garden, you know, I'm surprised how many other people have actually started doing this. Hello Alan, I've noticed your garden looks very attractive from the road. Thank you very much. Do you spend a lot of time there? I, I, I sit out there at times on that chair that's out there, um, which was bought by my daughters. You were? And um, you Planting, so they come and visit and they plant. There's a lot of admin that goes into this behind the scenes. If you haven't got good admin skills, people don't turn up. You have to remember always to contact people to follow things up to keep the enthusiasm going. Right. And always do things on exactly the same day of, ex of, of the month. We always do gardening down the first Saturday of every month, so everybody knows that that's the garden day. And it's snow and it's rain.
campaign and we still have to do it, don't we? We do, we do, we do. A good leader is what you want, a good organiser. If you've got a good leader like Helen, you know, and once you get to know each other, the camaraderie is there. Helen is absolutely fearless and uh, <laughs> <laughs> always has a plan B in mind. Um, and uh, I, I think it's very true, someone who's a great organiser and never gets defeated. Helen always bounces back. We get funding um, from various sources and sponsors, uh, followers and builders, are very generous. We didn't have a lot of support initially, and then as the group got bigger and bigger, funding became available. We are part of the bigger Waterstone Village Residents Association, so they a lot of the fundraising that they do, the funds come down to us that way. If there's something that we want, we'll go to our local councillors, then they'll try and look for funding for us. We have a community beekeeping group that called B17 that oh. we've set up. That that's given us about two thousand pounds over the last. 18 months. Just being out and about and having fun and then people come over to us and talk to us and we have a section in the quarterly village magazine. Um, we, we put posters up on all the lampposts when we're running an event So and then people just come along. Yeah, there's a, a, a quite a big mailing list now to know yeah. what's going on but I think you're, you're right, it's just people just coming to talk to you. We are kind of unique because we are volunteer-led. I think the RHS really support us in that way because yeah. they love the fact that the community are making such a difference um, and yeah. with support from the, the council uh, rather than the other way around. You know, so I, I think they are very um, uh, supportive of community groups. They do lots of initiatives where you can get free seeds, lots of ideas. Um, they've got a special community section of, of their website that you can go to and you can ring them up at any time. We also get cheap insurance through them. I am a judge um, and London in Bloom is part of the Royal Horticulture Society's campaign in Bloom. And it's nice to be out and sort of promote the actual uh, London in Bloom initiative, make people aware of the gardening side of things, increasing biodiversity and supporting local biodiversity as well. They can um, provide help and advice. They can also open up avenues for funding and sponsorship. So that all helps in setting up community groups to actually promote your, your area. It will be amazing. Within a year, people have got the bug and um, it's amazing what people collect. Well, this gardening project was to um, basically show what can be done for people that are in wheelchairs. Ted, do you like the garden? Yeah. What do you like about the garden? All right. Is it all right? Yeah. And do you like the strawberries that we've got in the garden? Yeah. We've got flowers, we've got chives there, nicely blooming. Yeah, and we've got oh, very fruit trees. Pick another one. So bad. Right, we've got pumpkin, we've got butternut squash, um, tomatoes, and various beans, runner beans, broad beans. Potatoes, the city out here to have their lunch or just to enjoy the mm. garden. The people um, who work in the care home don't necessarily come from the immediate local area, um, although they're here every day, and um, they felt quite isolated from the community. We contacted the Walking Safe Village Residents Association initially, I think, just kind of asked them about compost. Then that actually has blossomed, as it were, into quite a um, a nice relationship because um, we feel that there are lots of people around in the village that want to see the project succeed.
and it's been a really good way of um, fostering community links of people who work in the centre with their local area. Cleveland Park is a part of the Cleveland Park Crescent and Avenue uh, Residents Association and once every couple of months um, they have a play street for the kids and a whole bunch of us will come out, plant the tree pits, trim mm. hedges, do some weeding. We buy the plants um, and plant them up and then uh, the residents can request to have one and look after it and water it. We think that um, if you beautify the area, it gives people pleasure, especially when they walk to work in the morning. To walk down an avenue which has got beautiful tree pits, hanging baskets, lovely cut hedges and yeah. nice front gardens, yeah. I think it puts a spring in their step. The, the real win from it is that we uh, are involving people in all sorts of ways, which is with the, the flowers and London in bloom, but also with keeping the place tidy. Yeah. looking after you know, litter and the antisocial behaviour. I, I believe, anyway, that the, the smarter you make a place, the less people <coughs> abuse it. And it's a real sense of community, yeah. friendship. People look at each other in the eye. Mm. Um, they say, I'm a Londoner, mm. and you don't normally do that in London. Yeah. We've got the Indian mint. Mm -hmm. We have the sage. That's sage. Now what can you use that for? Well, you'll have to ask chefs. Okay. Stuffing, <laughs> stuffing, sage and onion stuffing. Yeah, sage and onion stuffing, yeah. You have to be ready for disappointment. Things go missing and it doesn't rain and things don't grow. Um, but, you know, you just keep on doing it and then eventually it does all come together. It's not just about what the place looks like. It's about the community spirit there as well because you can't just do it by picking up litter you've actually got to get everyone involved and that's I think that's one of the most impressive things about this whole this whole gig every year is the amount of people that they get together. It's, I think if you only saw the flower beds you wouldn't see the half of it yeah. in terms of what's behind that all the work that goes on with the seed swaps the community organizations the events that people put on it really shows you why Walthamstow is so special. To see the bulbs, you know, when they're coming up and they're flowering, they're so beautiful, especially early in the morning, and they have a lovely scent. So it makes you feel alive. <laughs> I have been really amazed, actually, at um, the Walthamstow Village Residents Association and just the effect that they have had on their local area. I mean, it's like I, I think it's, it's not possible to overestimate what that is because I think that um, Walthamstow yeah. Village just wouldn't be it's the same place without that group. It's great fun and you make good <laughs> friends don't oh, you? Oh you do, oh. oh you do. I think if I didn't do this I wouldn't know half the people, your neighbours and it's always great to have a chat and also after these evenings which are rare, this little window of light evenings in the summer, you know, whatever your work day has been like to do this and you just forget about everything yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's just great.